Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stoneblock 3. Before we jump into what we're going to be doing in this episode, I have figured out how to get wireless crafting grid to have more range thanks to you guys. Apparently there are these range upgrades and I don't know how I haven't seen them before. But basically I just want to go ahead and make four of these upgrades right here. And then I believe I make four of those. And then if I right click, I have completely disregarded the fact that there are four upgrade slots in here. And I think they go in. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> you add it to the wireless transmitter. That makes that makes sense. So now I wonder if I go down here. I can still access it, and if we go down to the brand new area, I can still access it. Okay, thank you to everyone who told me that there are wireless upgrades. That is huge, and I wish I had known that way sooner. But, better late than never. Now, I have gone ahead and, showed, and taken a look at the singularities, and we're actually getting kind of close to being... I think we might actually be over halfway. However, we are starting to get to the ones that are starting to be a little bit more tricky, such as the balloon singularity, for example. We need to make the balloon for most of engineering. We need to automate the production of treated wood slabs, tough fabric, torches are usable, but tough fabric, which needs industrial herb fiber, sticks, things like that. And that, some of them are a little bit complicated. Some like the polonium pellet singularity, we need to set up Basically, we need to get into reactors and whatnot from mechanism. However, there are st still some that are relatively easy to do, aka the brand new area down here for a future expansion. We set up this in the last episode. It is working very well, except for this one because of, well, these fellas right here. Uh, they're interrupting this little bit of a process. However, there is a solution that people told me down below in the comments of the last episode, and that is basically move this far away from my base, like all the way out here somewhere, where the lights basically don't have an effect, which of course is a great idea. And then I can just go ahead in the map here and uh, claim the chunk and make sure that it's already always loaded. So I think without any further ado, that is definitely the first thing on our agenda. Gienta? Why am I not getting... Oh, the, this thing. <laughs> the, this, this, yeah, let's let's pick this up first of all. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, that... Ah, that... <laughs> that... Yeah, mm. Hmm. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> Got it. And I also have the chest. Uh, I only really see one good solution to this, and that is very carefully scrapping all the not needed items, such as all of this. Yep, there we go. Uh, where am I? Yes, we, we are not going to go anywhere near that. I said I wasn't going to go near it. I uh, I went near it. Oops. Now, here is the bad news. When I pick this up, it does not stay as dreadful dirt. Which is a bit of a problem. Because I don't have any more chickens. But I do have eggs, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. As long as I pick this up. Just like so, and then I should be able to get some more chickens, because I should have... Oh. Well, oh, hold on. 19 eggs. That is not... Uh, that might not be enough. Oh, no. I just remembered I need essence bucket. However... Oh, and I need spider eye as well. However, I should be able to get essence from this. So if I just get to get buckets, this thing, yep. We should have plenty in that. And that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Aha. 
So, the alchemy table will have a use for us. I don't know, I don't think I have one, so I can go ahead and just grab one from this. So the alchemy table basically can convert different items or items into different things. If I could spell, that would help. Uh, so for example, if I put in leather, it should convert it to an eye, to an end up, to, to, uh, to a spider eye. Like it says it here, but maybe I need a spider eye to, to tell it to say, hey, get, make, make spider eye. Yeah, that's probably what I need to do. Hmm. Spider has been located. Um, shield the spider. There we go. However, that is not a spider eye. Another one has been sighted somewhere. Uh, right there. Skilled spider. Ooh, that's a spider eye. Right? Got it. We can go home. And this one we are going to add straight into that. So we are never going to miss spider eyes ever again. With that said, dreadful, or sorry, rotten. And boom. Now, all I need is chicken. My question is, can I give it to a smart chicken? I can. That solves those problems. Very nice. All right, I think I have everything except for the seeds. I don't need that many seeds on me. I think I have everything that we need for this. So I basically just need to first of all, go ahead and cover all of this up so it looks nicer. Next, I need to get as far away as uh, the range of that thing. And I don't know how much that is. Couple of chunks. Looks like that is kind of the edge. So I think I'll be all right doing it here. Yeah, I, I, th I think I'll be all right. Can I use? Okay, no, I, that makes sense. But I can use it here, though. Oh, wow. That, that's some good range. Yeah, it looks like it stops there. So that is good news for me. So now I can go ahead and set everything up again. I do apologize for the darkness, but uh, I should be able to actually just yep, do that. Place the dirt down. However, because it is dark here, definitely do not <laughs> turn it into dreadful dirt just yet. We are not ready. I would not fancy to die here. That would be quite painful and not fun. Well, it would just be annoying when building this thing. All right, now for the collection system. So I've already set the jumbo tank right there. I think that's fine. Then we're going to set up a cyan in the chest. And since that is north, this is going to be south. We're going to port items into this. And as someone was saying, I am going to indeed need a bigger chest than the, than the diamond one. However, for now, I think I'm just going. I could, I could just void the items. You know what? I, I could just trash can it. Yep. Just gonna. I, I think I'm. Well, I can't actually trash can all of it yet. I need to do that over there on the receiving end. But now this should be good to go. Uh, run egg. Go there. Oh yeah. Oh, I forgot to turn on the fans. <sighs> Okay, well, it's working. <laughs> I just need to go over here. Go away. Turn all these on. That will save me. I hope. There we go. To the glass. Yep, this should work perfectly. So now I can place this here. I can place this back here. And I can place this in between. Just like before. Now I'm going to use the, the item pipes from pipes instead because what I can do is I can add this filter. Uh, so if I put that to output, obviously it's going to drag everything into the trash can, but I can add an advanced pipe upgrade and I can say filter mode, whitelist, filter mode, blacklist. So I think I want to blacklist and then I want to add mop souls. So I should have, yes, I do have a few. So if I go ahead in here, Add this, submit. No, <laughs> like so, and we 
put this to cyan. So now everything but mob souls should go, which then means I can go ahead and add a another advanced pipe upgrade and I can set this to whitelist and I can add the mob soul again, meaning only mob souls are going to be dragged from this, which should make this work. I think that's that. And then what I need to go and do is click here. And then I believe it is control all shift. Yep, yeah, shift click. And then that will always be running no matter where I am. So that is pretty cool. Yep, it's working perfectly. Now, as we are already dealing with that, we need to get the XP Jelly Baby Singularity. And to get the XP Jelly Baby, it's actually, I think, fairly simple. We need a solidifier, XP solidifier, and then we need an XP mold for the Jelly Baby, fluid XP, which we already get from the tank. And then we get Jelly Babies, and then we just feed it into the thing, and yeah, that should be doable. Uh, so let's let's just get that done right off the bat here. I just need to get a bucket clearly. I definitely knew this and definitely uh, Yeah, like I said new. Oh, hello Definitely knew this and um, are doing it for the um, uh, Education of for you you guys the viewers and uh, so you know how to that's not how you do how you search for torches. Yeah, just need something to light this up So we don't get nasty visitors. So yes, if I go ahead and do this XP mold and then go ahead and do this jelly baby XP mold and then Well, I just need the solidifier and I mean that seems pretty simple and straightforward and just like that, XP solidifiers requires that XP mold and fluid XP in its tank can be f configured to export horizontally. Speed is increased with XP speed upgrades. All right, so another thing that we can actually go ahead and do is I have these ender tanks. And if I take the cyan color again, we can go ahead and set up. Not yet. <laughs> we can go ahead and set up over here so that. Oh, wow. I can take this. That just got voided. Um, yeah, that that did just get voided because, yeah, um, yes, that. Mm. I see a flaw in my plan there. Anyway, I place this down. And I give it a cyan, just like that. And then over here, I should be able to go ahead and grab another neutronium compressor. I'll place it on top of this, if I, if it will allow me. Nope, that's not on top. Place, there we go. Disconnect. And then, well, I can basically place, well, let's test this first. So. We set this to cyan. We have the XP from over there. And that then leads into our jumbo tank eventually. And then this thing. Right. This this should be very easy actually. Alright. So goes from the well, goes from there to this, to this, to this, and I think if I just do that and I do on. We are creating XP jelly babies and they are being taken out into this thing right there. And so if I just go ahead, I don't need that in there. Place this. Place this. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, that is the XP jelly baby singularity secured. This is actually looking kind of cool. And also that you can look back there and see stuff. That should be working. That should be working, by the way. And we're getting very close to getting our next singularity here. Now, I realize that I have spent pretty much 15 minutes of this episode sorting this out, which I'm really happy with. However, oh, so, so it going up. However, I want to get at least one of these done. Now, I have also bit stew noted on here, and that is not one we're going to be doing today because that is going to 
be taking maybe even more than one episode for me to do because no, like less than half more than half of these foods i think here are not emcable so like i need to set up crafting and sorting for this is something that i'm going to be saving for very last the cosmic meatballs that should be very easily doable. We can do that with mechanical crafting, and then we can set up a thing for it, and all of this is CMCable, except for the neutronium nugget, of course, which we need to pipe down. Also something that I'm probably going to be waiting for until the end. I'm just going to be focusing on the singularities for now, right now. However, things like the pig iron singularity, emerald cluster, and mana seal should be fairly easy. So I think we're going to be trying to get the emerald Sing cluster singularity made today now the cool thing about these is they work essentially just like normal vanilla clusters so what we need to do we can craft these i don't know how many i can craft actually let me just make sure that i have this learned you get well two stacks <laughs> and uh, there we go so i can make maybe if i go ahead and make like half a stack 20 you know what 20 is fine so with 20, I should be able to go ahead and, well, do this and then also get a, don't have a watch of flowing time. I was just making a watch of flowing time here and I just was looking at my armor and I just realized that I have night vision. Like that lights up everything for me. Like that's, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> And I can also, I believe, press X to toggle step assist. Yeah, I have a keybind toggle that's, yeah, interfering with that. But still, that's pretty cool. And, yep, just like that. So, I guess we can set a some sort of redstone timer maybe to do some piston work. Because if I get a piston, let's, let's just get that many. And a lever, let's just get that many. And if I set this up here, ah, but I get the emeralds. I need the actual clusters. So I need something with silk touch to pick it up. Right, I think I know somewhat how to set this up. We're, <laughs> we're going to find out though if I do. All right, so I'm probably going to be needing a little bit of a bigger area than that. So let's go ahead and do this. And then I can go ahead and place the budding emeralds now i think the way i'm going to do this let's start by having a five by five area which means i'm going to have to make a few more so now they will be growing on the bottom so if i place a dark matter pestle with a water flowing time that is going to happen now what i can go ahead and do is use the builder from rf tools if i place this here this looks complicated and I barely know what I'm doing, so bear with me. If I take the shape card, clearing quarry, quarry. Wait a minute, that's the wrong one. Okay, so what I basically need is this a shape card clearing silk quarry. In order to get that, you need to get the shape card silk quarry. And in order to get that, you need to get the shape card quarry. And in order to get that, you need to get the shape card itself. Very, very, very confusing and not not fun. <laughs> very, very confusing, but I think I should have it now. Should be able to... Yep, a little bit expensive, but that's fine. And there we go. Shape clearing quarry. That is exactly what I needed. So I think... So now the module is installed. This card represents an area that can be it says, that can be used by the shield or builder. Sneak right click on builders to start to start mark mode. So I think if I go this now, select the first corner. So I select this, then the second one. Now that shape is added to this. Now the next thing that we are going to be needing is a timer, which we can just feed in. Which we could just feed into this thing and we can have it set to every currently it is set to every one second we're going to do it every three seconds just to be on the safe side like so so that delay is then 60 and for that we are going to be needing one single lever to get this going so this thing is set to keep running with redstone signal 
we have the shape from up there. This should be broken. Three second uh, gap for it to grow back, then broken again. Right. I'm going to try and replace this. Oh, <laughs> needs power. Eh? What on earth was that? <laughs> okay, it's working now. It just has to have, an, to have an inventory. So as you can see, it is working. But we do have one issue, and that is these. It is picking up some of the small ones for whatever reason. So if I try and make this instead 80, a little bit of a bigger delay maybe? No, it still gets some of these. That's odd. Okay, that's very loud. Very loud, so we're just gonna turn that down for a bit. So I set this delay down to 20, set this to do a single run and stop, and that seems to have, well, fixed the issue. So instead of that chest, I can... Well, I could have actually moved it ahead further because this is... Well, a lot. Oh, we did get one. We did get one, but that's fine, I think. I think I'm just gonna make this look kinda cool and add this right here. And that's gonna be pretty sweet. Don't know why these are being picked up. Bit of a problem if it's going to fill up this, but for now, I think this is fine. I could have, again, moved it closer, but it's loud anyway, so... <laughs> I wonder if I can muffle it. I can. I'm a thirst. Yeah, there we go. Ah, well, we'll have the singularity in no time. And no time it is indeed, just in three, two, one, boom. There we go. <laughs> Emerald Cluster Singularity. Let's just take a look here. Yeah, it, is, it is getting every now and then these, don't know why. It's fine, I think it's fine. We have four Jelly Baby Singularities. We have even more Mop Soul Singularities. I can add those in there. I can I can set up a whitelist. I can set up a um, a thing that takes out out only the small ones and put them into a trash thing. I think that would work just fine. Very nice. I do have to give thanks to chosen architect. I had to look at his, at how he had set this up, and well, yeah, this is how he set it up, and it is working wonders. I I was lost. Now I think we have time to set up another one. Which is going to be the Man of Steel one, because I think it's going to be a fairly simple setup. I could regret saying that, but we're going to give it a shot. So I guess it makes sense to open up this and first of all claim our rewards, just like that. Beautiful. Yep, we're getting... we're, we're more than halfway now. Um, so, Botania. We need to get this right here. We need to get a pure daisy. We need to get up some... Stuff, pedal, apothecary, I think I have that already. And I do have mystical white flowers. So like that. Now what I do need is a very specific flower. A flower that we can make. Uh, I don't remember what it's called, but I will probably recognize it when I see it. Or not. Aha! End of flames. We need to basically make ne make these... And so that is brown, red, and light gray. So brown, we definitely do have that. Let's make a few of those. Eight, yeah, that's fine. I somehow don't have any red mystical flowers. Wow. Thankfully, I have this floral fertilizer right here. Which only solved my problem a tiny bit. However, I have just discovered I only need to do this once because it's EMC-able. So, we go ahead at... Oh, oh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you don't place water in it, apparently. I thought you did, but you don't. Right. So, I... 
I do I don't remember how you do this. Pure Daisy. I don't remember how on earth you do this whatsoever. Ah you give it a water bucket. And then you throw the things in. You will need the seeds. You throw that in as well. And boom, we got a pure daisy. And we can add that. And boom, we just have a stack. Beautiful. And now I can go ahead and make an endo flame. I need two brown, one red, one gray. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah, water. That is a pretty important ingredient. So just grab that, do this, one gray, two brown, one red, and one seed. Endo flame has been created. Boom, just like that. All right, we need a few more things. We need the open crate and we need mana spreaders. And for this, we need to get some living wood and also living stone, which is why we have the pure daisy. So if I go ahead and get some oak logs and also some normal stone, I can go ahead and place a pure daisy out here, <laughs> so somewhere that where the space. So place it, surround it with logs, and the magic is going to start to happen. We're going to do the same over here, but with stone, just like that. And eventually this is going to turn into a living rock living stone living rock I actually don't know living living rock yes and boom convert it to living rock and lit living wood you know I hate this morning star <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say it I really really dislike it anyway with the living rock we can now go ahead and make the mana pool that we need and then we can make the open crate right after we've done this. And this is EMC able, by the way. The living rock is not EMC able. This, however, is. So we can go ahead and get a bunch. Then we can make the open crate. I think I'm gonna need two. Might need two. I'm also actually going to be needing a hopper. And I do believe I have personal links as well. And then I'm also going to be needing a mana spreader. And I need living wood logs and I didn't go ahead and do that. Didn't even see it. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> there we go. Mistake and crisis averted. So just gotta go ahead and make, well, one mana spreader, two mana spreader, ah, three. Let's make three. Final thing we need is Wand of the Forest, which is just three twigs and some petals and Boom, this is basically our ranch for Britannia. All right, this might be a little bit cramped. I'm gonna move it back a couple of blocks here and then we should be ready to go. I'm placing moss because it looks nicer than dirt and otherwise it would just be dirt because I can't convert it to grass. Anyway, so these endo flames right here, if we place them down, what is going to happen is they basically pick up coal that is nearby, which is why we have these open crates. And let me just make sure that that is, yep, that is pointing down. So what I can go ahead and do is give it a hopper, like so, and a personal link. Go ahead and grab some coal. And I can tell it, hey, give coal. That's way too much. That's not, <laughs> wow. Yeah, that, that that's way too much. Uh, I think I might need a uh oak yes i think maybe maybe no better solution found i think and the site funnel and then of course just need to get a wrench to set it the other way around i think let's just test it with a little bit of coal i put that in there it's going to place one and I think eventually the surrounding endo flames is going to be picking up that coal. So I think I figured out why it was they was they weren't picking up the stuff that I was throwing at it. So when I hold over the wand of the forest, there's a little bit of a check mark over here. However, I didn't have this matter spreader here before. If I go ahead and remove it, as you can see, that check mark is now gone. Now it's back. So I think. 
that that is what was causing it. And I don't think they need to get charcoal blocks either. I think it can literally be normal coal blocks. So if I go ahead and say, hey, generate that, please. And because of the funnel, only one at a time is going to be dropped on the ground, which is perfect and exactly what we need. Then I can go ahead and place this mana pool, I guess, right here. Right click this. Right click. Maybe it needs to be over one. Bind mode. So I right click, I suppose, this to this. Nope. Shift right click. There we go. And this is now filling the mana pool up. Well, with mana. And I think this is why I made multiple. I think I can set up more, maybe? So the end of flames, they're showing the fuel level. But these are not getting any mana. I wonder if that is because if we place more end of flames, then they are starting, or this one at least, is starting to get mana as well. So I basically just need this one is starting to get two. Okay, so if I basically the more endo flames I place, the better for this specific uh, scenario. <laughs> and then I think I can basically do the same as before. I go ahead and place a chest there. Remove this. Place an end and the end side funnel. Wrench it, and then. On top of that, I will need a hopper as well. Quick hopper. Boom. I go ahead and place... Eh. It's very, very annoying to work with this armor, actually, because it's so fast. There we go. Personal EMC link on top. And I think... Well, we just grab an iron ingot. We say generate this. Oh, wow, it's fast. It's a lot faster than I thought it would be. But there we go, that is doing exactly as it's supposed to. Now I just need to pick it up. And I can do this right here. I can pick it up. Uh, this is going to be big, so we're going to shrink it. So it just covers that. If I open this up, nope, this, that's just the height. X, yeah, that should work. I think that should work. And, well, the same setup as the other places. Ah, that's the issue, though. That's the issue right there. I think I might have to take this. And then... Take some more. I don't have actually more. I'm gonna have to use the Elite. Disconnect this. Lead it to set this back to items. Place this there. Disconnect this. Go up and over. And place this there. Oh, it can't connect? Oh, that's a big bummer. I guess I'll have to place a chest. Say nope. Say export. And then say to this, whitelist only mana steel. So that it only picks up mana steel. And that should work. Please. That's not what was supposed to go in there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is the mana steel ingot singularity completed. And ladies and gentlemen, that right there is our first mana steel singularity. Boom. And with that, we now have one, two, three, four, five, six singularities remaining. We are very, very close, ladies and gentlemen. To being done with the singularities that we just need the cosmic meatballs and ultimate and steel. And then we can make the infinity catalyst. We are getting very close and with that we are getting very close to the end of this episode. Hopefully you have enjoyed. If you did be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new and enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Where we are going to be hopefully finishing off the pig iron. Inca Singularity break us down to five singularities remaining and then hopefully doing one more, maybe the Uranite Singularity. Polonium, that's probably going to be one episode. Balloon Singularity, probably one as well. So maybe the Uranite, maybe the Nitro Crystal Singularity. We need to make basically automate the process of Nitro Crystals, which requires energizing because this is not EMCable. 
all of this is basically EMCable except for the block of blazing crystal which can be basically EMC from blaze mesh and then into yeah it's a process so we'll see how much we get going or get get done that, that's the right thing to say but like I said that's gonna be it for this one hope you enjoyed it I hope to see you in the next one have a wonderful day and until next time goodbye yeah.